Hello, everybody. My name is Grace. This is my dad. He's from Australia. G'day, everybody. I just got back from Australia and saw a lot of sulfur crested cockatoos. Sulfur means yellow. As you see, this guy, he's a sulfur crested cockatoo and he has a yellow crest. I love making rainbow limbs, so today I'm going to show you how to make a sulfur crested cockatoo and make rainbow limbs. And as you see, I really love baking rainbow limbs. Alright? Sulfur crested cockatoo will end up looking like this. Okay, now we're going to start. Okay, we make this um, cockatoo in parts. So, first we're going to start out by making a wing. For a wing, if the wing is made in all single rubber bands, first you take one rubber band and go to the right. Take another single rubber band and go to the left. Take another and go forward. Go forward another four times so you have five bands in total. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the right and the left side, go up four. One, two, whoops, got one on my limb. One, two, three, four. Oops. And then do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four. And then come in with one on each side. Now turn your loom around and we're going to make some horizontal bands. To make horizontal bands, take a yellow and from here and here just put it around singly like you do in a triple single. And this is my own design. Take another band, double it, and put it around these three pegs and these should all be triangles. Take another single band, double it, and put it around. And do that one more time. Take single band, double it, and put it on. Like that. Now we're going to make a capping band. To make a capping band, wrap it around that one peg four times. One, two, three. Three, whoops, one, two, three, four. And now I would recommend a metal hook. Take your metal hook and push down that pat cat band and grab your top band. For me, it goes to the um, to the left. Take another band, push back that cat band, and Pull the top and make it, put it on the pond itself, make it to the left. Now take the middle and go up. And then just go all the way up the middle to get to the end. Now get to the sides, just go up the middle. I mean, go up the side, sorry. And you can do the part when it comes in right here. Push it back, go up, and it's pretty easy if you know how to do a triple single. Just come in, just on the sides. So that's the, your wing. I've already made one. So you'll have to pause the video to make the other. To finish it off, go in, take a white single band, and pull it through, making sure you get all the bands, put it, clip it on both ends, and take your wing off the loom. See? Two wings. Now we've got to make a foot. Well, you got to make two. Full stop. Okay. We're going to start out with another foot. As you see, it's already made one, so you'll have to pause the video after I've actually made one. Anyway, on your loom, 
you have to start out with double rubber bands, make sure they're white, and go up one. Now, take one gray and double it on your fingers, so this is a single doubled gray, and put it on there to there. Take another gray, double it on your fingers, and put it from there to there. Okay, now here's the complicated part. Take a single black on your hook, this is hand and hook, and wrap it around three times so there is four loops on your hook. Now, take a single black, double it on your fingers. Gray? I mean, sorry, a single gray, and double it on your fingers, and somehow lift that black band over on that single double gray let's get that and now put that make sure you get all the gray pieces put that if you can it's hard so when you're trying to do it. somehow get that on there whoops let's get that over Bam. So there's one toe. Now do the same thing. Take a black band, wrap it around four times. Take a single gray, double it on your fingers, put it on, and get that black band onto it. Like that. And then can put it on your loom. <laughs> Do that one more time to finish up that one more toe. Wrap it around four times. Take a single gray, double it on your fingers, and whoa, get that black over. I mean, get that, yeah, get that black over that single double gray. And then put it on your loom, that one peg. Okay, first, to finish it off, fix up all those toes so it looks more like toes. So you get it kind of like that. And now, this is the complicated part. This is really helpful to have a metal hook for this one. Push back all those, it's only three bands, but it feels like a lot. And bring that one over. And if you didn't catch the other part, bring that one over. And it's hard, because you don't want to break your doubled gray, because it's doubled. So good, use good bands for the gray. Now, just loop it up, and then loop it up, super, and there's that, put it on your holding hook, let me get that man back, and take it off the loom, get to here, you just want to be careful, so there's your foot. And now, okay, now we're going to make the tail. That's what it looks like. This is a really odd pattern for the tail, but it's not complicated. But it's pretty easy, but it's, it's not hard. <laughs> Take double whites and go from the, that one peg to this peg, starting at the red arrow. Take another double whites. Go from this peg to the right. Take another double white and go from that peg to there. Now we're going to start our, actually using our yellow bands. Take one yellow, single yellow, and put it on one of those pegs. Now take a single white and put it there. And a single white there. Now 
we're going to do a pattern of double bands, single bands, double bands, single pans, bands, each of them twice. So, you can just scatter little yellows around to make it look cool. Yeah. So, now we're on singles. So, go singles. And now we're doing doubles. <laughs> See, it's a really weird pattern, but it ends up really cool. Now, we want to go, so we've just gone, so this is these three, the one, that one, that one is doubles, this one, this one, and this one are singles, double, 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 single, 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 double, double, double. Now we're gonna go, we want to go up one more time, put double in the middle, and come in with a single, and go in with a single, that. And that's how you make, um, place some of the bands that part. Turn around to limb, and we're going to make cat bands. And we want this tail to be skinny and tight. So, from these three pegs, these three pegs, these three pegs, and these three pegs, um, are all we going to have a doubled white. So, or if you want to, you could add one as a yellow. But I'm, but I am gonna add one as yellow. I'm gonna add this one. This one. Should just make it. Oh, so you're just doubling it, cause double makes it nice and tight, and durable. So what we want it's durable, pretty tight. And then now I'm gonna for this these three I'm gonna take yellow and double it. And you could use gel tone yellow, but I decided not to, as you see I did in this one. Now to loop it, and I'm not you no, don't loop it yet. You want to take first you want to make a cat band at the end and wrap it around four times, if, three times to have four ones. Then you want to get your hook and pick up that one single. It should go to one of the um, cross pegs. Um, so get all those cap bands up. Push back all your cap bands. Do the next one. Oops. And get the bottom two and lift up. Now I'm just gonna tackle off the middle. That should be single, double, single, double. Go all the way to the top. And get back on the side. I'm having a bit of trouble here. Uh -huh. And do go up. And you can just go that, take that turn. Now you want to take two or three, I'm just going to take two, two whites, and put it in that tail, and pull it through so you get, whoops, I missed one. <laughs> this two, it's kind of hard. There. Pull it through, put it on holding her using the original rainbow and hook and just take this um, tail off the loom making sure not to break any bands you don't want to break bands because then you'll have to start over
There's your tail. Okay, now we're going to make what I call the small parts, which are the beak, the eyes, and this little, um, the, um, crest, the crest, which is yellow. We're going to make the beak first, just taking three grays. Make sure you take three. Go up. Take one gray and cap it off four times. So, I mean, three times so you have four rings. Oops. Show you. Get two, three, four. There. Now we're gonna make that crest part. The crest part is really easy. Take one band, go up. Take another band, go up. Take another band, go up. And cap it so there's two rings. Let's see there. Whoops. And that's. And then just salute that. So now turn your little around so the arrow is pointing towards you. Get back behind the beak. And just make sure you don't break a band. Go up. I accidentally did, but that's fine. And now go up with that, those single beaks, I mean the single crest. Put it on your holding hook. As you see, our holding hook is getting really full. Just take it off. Now it's gonna make those. Now we're gonna make the eyes. The eyes are, they're not too hard, but they're not easy. Um, oh yeah, for the beak, take off that um, piece right there. You wanna take a single white and pull it through so it's on a white, like that, see? Then just put your crest on. Okay, now to make the eyes, take your um, metal hook, or whatever hook you're using, um, and wrap one uh, around four times, a well, black around four times, Take a white, you're gonna have to double it and pull that on. It's not too hard because you don't have to put it on the loom. Just thank God for that. So just keep it on your hook and then take a, another black, double it around. So you have four rings and take a single white, double it. I like to. And get uh, all those whites on there, loop it on there, then take a single white and pull the two of those through and put it on your hook and the hook is getting full, so just keep that there and everyone doing good, thumbs up. Okay, now we're gonna make, um, like, see, so I have the body and the head, and we're gonna attach all these pieces that we made onto it. So first, take double whites and start at the, um, you want, this makes it a lot easier if your arrow is pointing towards you and you work downwards, because then you can actually see it. Like the um, cockatoo forming. So go from there to there and come down twice, so like that, and then you can take two, this is all double bands unless I say single, see how I have this guy, and then you want to take double bands to go out, and go down twice, oops, that one didn't get caught, and come down, Place. and then come in just like you do with the other. Now take double bands. This is the chin peg, so you're really going to want to patch this peg down. Sorry, I almost forgot. You want to do the middle of the face. So first just come down. And there. So get that. <laughs> now you really want to push this peg down and take double bands 
go from this peg to this peg, take another double band and go from this peg to this peg. Now on each of the sides, you want to go down three times. So you see, got like that. So you want to do the same on the other side. Down three times. And now you want to come in, we're going to get our feet off, our holding hooks, this will be a hard thing to do. Somehow slide your feet off of that hook. And you want to take, see how you put those double bands on? You just want to take them and go in with those bands like that your foot sticking out. Same with the other. Make sure not to twist your foot. And now come down the middle all the way to his tushy. So, there's that. Now let's add on his eyes. And we're going to put the eyes on this peg right here, from here to here. So the two middles, so that one and that one. Take the middle, separate those two eyes, and lift it up. And so they're like that. You want to have the eyes pointing downward because. It's going to be down because um, this guy is actually backwards because he is. And now take that beak, go from here to here, and that there. And take, okay, now I guess if you want to. Big thing in there. So this will actually work kind of as a cat band. What is that? Is that the tail? Yeah. This is the tail. Uh, and now you want to take your wings. So this is getting too complicated. We'll slow down. So right now, eyes on these two pegs. Lift it over. Eyes pointing down. Beak on this peg to this peg. Pointing down. Tail right here, pinning on there, and our feet, or the, whatever they are, um, on pegs. And this peg to this peg, and this peg to this peg. Now you want to add our wing from here, and you want to put it right there. And to make that wing pretty <laughs> on that single band, you want to do the same with another. Got that on there, and you wanna. Sorry, mine broke. But you wanna make that crest. Sorry, but if you're before and you put the crest on top of his head. Sorry, my crest broke, so I have to make a loose one. And I put your crest right on top of that top peg, and I'll make it cute. <laughs> Is everyone good for placing? Hello. This, um, now we're doing looping bands, finally, and the horizontal bands. First, to make a horizontal band, uh, put it across the eyes in a triangle, just a single, not doubled or anything. Same on the beak. Make it horizontal like this. Now take a rubber band, place it this is all singles, not doubled or anything special. Just put it across like that. Take another single and put it across horizontal like that. I am happy to say, now are we now we are finished, ready to leave. Okay. First, go behind that band. Not that band, but that tail. 
And then you want to pull it back and get the two. This is hard. Um, to get the two um ones that go to the foot, and to get the other two that go to the foot. Now I'm just going to tackle off that middle and go up. And go all the way to the chin, push it down. Now you can do the sides and just sleep up. And the reason why we have the horizontal bands not double or anything, or anything special, is because we want them to be uh, nice and like fluffy. So, there. So I've done the middle, and I've also done the side. Now we're going to do this side, the left side, just come up, and pull it back, up, onto that chin peg, push it down. We have now looped the entire body. Make sure that you've, everyone is in a, this teardrop shape, something like it. And now here's a complicated part. You want to Push back all of those bands on the shin peg and get the two top and loop them over so you get the teardrop shape as you see like that and then push all those sorry if you can't see push all that get the two you should go to here you just hold it down a little okay here we go. And goes to here. It's okay. And then loop up. Good. To the middle. So I have that middle. And loop up on the sides. This is always the hard part, the looping. Okay, I have done the middle up and the side of his face. Just follow the bands and you should be fine. Get between. Oops. And the last band that we have to loop is goes to here, push it down, it's got our crest, everything's good. Now we want to take, do you see on this bird here, I have this little funky, um, these whites, so you can take as many whites as you want, I'm taking three because he's got three of those things. Um, get your hook in all of those, pull those, all of those bands, you can do it one at a time, just to make it a bit easier, that's what I'm going to do, look the same, just pull back up, and, sorry, Just move it up. I have one more to do. Sorry. Oh, I'll just do two. That's fine. Um, and now we are ready to take this little birdie off the loom. I like to start out with his feet first and do the sides. So just taking them off the lamb, being careful not to break any bands. That would be sad if you did at the end. Now you've made your first yellow custard cockatoo out of rainbow loom. 
Now let's make her just kind of play with him a bit. Puck her out his eyes a lot. Pull out his um, feet and just looks cute, doesn't he? Imagine. This is your cockatoo, little buddy snow. Hope you love it. Please leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.